We started off with 256 fighters, but now we are down to only two as they square off for the inaugural Ricky J Sports EA Sports UFC 3 PS4 title between Ed Parker and Aaron 21. Are you listening? Ricky J Sports. All right, people, here we go. The finals are here and they're mirror matching each other. And let's see what happens. We started off with 250 plus fighters. Now we're down to two, the finals. Oh, they're showing a lot of respect. Parker's in red. Aaron is in blue. And let's see what happens. Aaron's pressure, forward pressure is amazing. But Parker's ability to use a lot of volume and change levels is at just at another level oh, he dropped him and this is surprising that he dropped Aaron right away and it seems like the audio just kicked out but that's okay it's kicking back in and Parker does such a good job at hitting you up top down low and keeps you guessing he's the ultimate belly tickler he's rocked him and dropped him again what is going on? And let's see if Aaron can regroup here, people. This is crazy. Never see Aaron rocked again. And look at his head and block health. They were way down. And Parker is firing on all cylinders here. Let's see if Aaron could weather the storm. Oh, he gets rocked. Oh my gosh. Nice little sway right there. Nice little sway to get out of that. But Parker is firing. It's amazing how Parker could throw so much volume. Oh, now Parker's rocked and still maintain high stamina. Oh, <laughs> living and dying by the sword is Ed Parker. But it seems like Aaron is sh shaking off the nerves and he's fighting his style, but he gets rocked. Oh, oh, now Parker's rocked. Oh my gosh. This is a seesaw battle. Now it's even. Parker started off with an early lead and then Aaron is closing the gap. This is nuts. Hopefully you're enjoying this at home, man. Buckle up. Buckle your seatbelts, people. We are in for a great finish to crown the first ever Ricky J PS4 UFC 3 champion. And both guys showing a lot of respect, not throwing too much. They've been rocked multiple times. Aaron's been dropped twice, I believe twice. So he's got to be careful, but he's doing a good job at neutralizing Parker. Oh, nice little head movement right there and slipping in those punches. Good level change. Oh, but Aaron. Oh, wow. Saved by the bell right there. But I was going to say Aaron really closed that gap in that round. The first little bit was all Ed Parker. Aaron closed the gap and then Parker rocked him at the end. That's Parker's round right there. But both guys are hurt. One mistake could cost these guys this fight. And I love how they're showing a lot of respect. Not like yesterday, man. <laughs> In real life. But these guys, I don't know if you saw the press conference or watched my video where I spoke to both of them. These guys are pure class. And we're seeing just classic mixed martial arts right here what a round both guys are loading up on that uppercut and it seems at this point Parker just needs to throw volume tickle that head and Aaron will get rocked and wobbled and Aaron needs to use that head movement and throw that good shot He's doing a good job slipping to the side though. 
Oh, Parker belly tickling, but it's dangerous. I, you know, I don't know how he does it. Because when I try to belly tickle, I get rocked. He's got to be careful with that. But Aaron's doing that pressure. Oh, but he's rocked and hurt. Oh, nice. I like that little kick. That kick stops fights. And Parker taking a page out of Bathing Ash's book right there with a flying knee. Parker doing a good job at not getting hit with anything significant lately. And keeping his distance. Baiting Aaron into kind of hunting him down. Oh boy. And I hope these guys didn't come up with that mutual agreement not to pounce on your opponent when he's hurt and out of it. This is for all the marbles. And Aaron... It's done! one nothing for Eddie Paca. Second wow. And you know what? That was a close fight. We're going to keep it here. And I'm interested to see if Aaron is going to pick somebody else, man. If he's going to pick somebody else. But these guys are talking back and forth. I was going to say, I'll let you listen in. On what they're saying, but let's see what he does. Okay, I pick lightweight. Not, not sure pick. I just think that yeah, Aaron felt like he did well. He's he's learn. He's gonna be thinking about what he did wrong in that first fight and make those changes. That's where champions are made. Both these guys are champions, win or lose. Both of them are gonna get. A nice gift from our sponsor at Dope Hero Cold Villain. Check out their website. But let's see if Aaron can regroup and bring this epic finals to a third fight. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Let's see if Parker is going to come out full throttle. Or if maybe Aaron will use that forward pressure. Oh, he's using... I like how Parker is kind of giving him a different look. Giving him a couple smellies to the belly. Smelly kicks to the belly. Nice. Look at this. This is like Hulk Hogan versus the Ultimate Warrior. You just don't know who to go for. You just don't know who's going to win. And good start for Aaron21. Beautiful start. And I would like to see him back away a little bit against Parker. Parker likes to throw volume. Use that footwork. You're already ahead in this round. No need to go 100% if you know what I mean. Oh, Parker strikes back. And now this round is even Steven, my brothers and sisters out there. Oh man, I'm so nervous. I am so nervous. Nice, good way of utilizing that distance. But Parker draining that stamina. That's not like Parker. Wasting all that stamina on those kicks. And it seems like Aaron's kind of figured out Parker a little bit. But Parker showing him a new, a different look, which is nice. And then maybe he'll go back to belly tickling mania. He is. And, man... He is the ultimate belly tickler. I'm the founder of the belly tickler, but Parker is just so good at employing those body shots. Deep breaths. I believe that was Parker. He's nervous, man. This is for all the marbles. But Aaron has that stamina advantage. So I'd like to see him just kind of take a break a little bit. Move back, back up. But who am I to give advice, man? These are the two best in the world. That's the thing with Parker is he's just relentless. He's not afraid to continue throwing volume. He doesn't want you to breathe. Nice, good combo. Nice slip. But see Parker's stamina is going down. Oh, there's the uh, signature uppercut hook. Oh, and Parker... On wobbly legs right there. So you gotta look at you gotta look out for that flying knee. A lot of guys are doing that and they get rocked. 
They go for that flying knee because a lot of guys are going pure offense trying to finish you. Good round. And good that flying knee will come out of nowhere and, and that will finish you in return. But great round for Aaron, 21. What a amazing champion One of my pets he died. is I feel like right now. For, um, for really coming back here. I don't know what Ed Parker said right there. He said, I feel like one of my pets died, or I don't know what he said right there. Oh, but Parker's, oh, nice combo by Parker. Isn't it amazing how these guys could just, there's, they have great pushback, and look at this pushback by Aaron 21. <laughs> what great pushback. Both of these guys showing phenomenal championship heart right here. But Aaron can't get too excited. Keep on doing what he was doing that first round. Be patient. Pick your strikes. Let Parker punch himself out a little bit. Oh, avoid that. Parker's now hunting him down. <laughs> nice. Oh, Parker's hurt. Wait, who's hurt? They're both hurt. They were both hurt there. Or am I just seeing things? Everything's happening so fast. And Parker's hurt. <laughs> Down he goes. Oh. I don't know, man. I think they have that mutual respect of not pouncing. I don't like it. Let me know if you like that. I don't like it. Look like Aaron may have been able to finish Parks there. Who knows? It's a mystery. Ask a bathing ash. But Parker's hurt again. Oh, body shot. Aaron is hurt, man. He's just, his, his character's not recovering. Look at this. His body is hurt bad. The belly tickler tickling his way to a finish. It's over. Ed Parker, the new UFC 3 Ricky J Sports PS4 champion. And... I cannot believe that he belly tickled his way to the title. What an unbelievable fast paced fight. But before we talk about Ed Parker, we gotta give up much respect to Aaron21. He took so much heat in the comments area after every single one of his fights that were broadcasted on the channel and he took it like a champion, continued winning his fights and he is the runner-up getting a nice gift from Dope Hero Cold Villain. Much respect to Aaron21. He is phenomenal and congratulations brother. You'll be back for the next tournament that's for sure. Looking for redemption. But Ed Parker, what can you say about Ed Parker? He called his shots. We're going to have to call him Mystic Eddie or Mystic Paka for calling it. He called it in the beginning. And I'll be honest with you, when he said from right from the get-go he was going to win this, I thought it was kind of a bold statement to make that prediction because if he didn't live up to his words, man, he would be eating his words and um, facing all you subscribers trying to explain what happened. But he survived. Man, you got to think about him surviving against a bathing ash that if you haven't seen that fight go check that fight out it's on my channel but he basically limped into the finals and then recovered regrouped and put on an amazing show against aaron 21 so congratulations to ed parker man this guy both of these guys were amazing check out both of their channels i'll put a link in the description for you guys to check out their channels but you know what's scary Ed Parker is now parading around the mean streets of uh, London tonight as he celebrates his championship. But what's scary is that now, people, I am stepping out of the booth like Daniel Cormier, and I'm going to have to face Ed Parker. <laughs> so wish me luck because it's going to be ugly, man. But we're going to face off as a victory, a celebration of his great talents, and even a celebration to every one of you that took part in this tournament. This tournament couldn't have happened if it wasn't for you, and I'm honestly really thankful. <laughs> In a way, I'm kind of getting choked up a little bit because you guys made this channel, made this tournament, or made these tournaments into what it is because of your participation, your positive energy, and I just I can't thank you guys enough. So stay tuned for that next video of 
me getting beat down by Ed Parker, but I got some tricks up my sleeve, people. I got some strategies. I've been training with some people, and um, I got some tricks up my sleeve. So anyway, stay tuned for that. Give uh, a like to this to this video and show your love to Aaron21 and Ed Parker for putting on just a great performance all throughout this tournament and in the finals. But anyhow, people, I'm out of here. This is Ricky J Baby from Ricky J Sports. I love you guys, man. Stay tuned for more Ricky J action. And you are awesome.